Hi everyone, my name is Anthony Cummins and the way of the samurai, the path of the samurai is actually the lowest way. Let's discuss that and the coronavirus. But first of all, all my videos are done to support one of my books, so have a look at this. <laughs> Okay, so the book I've just shown you there, many of the things I talk about uh, or the, the, the paths within there are, are all written in that book. So first of all, look, we're in 2020. The world is under attack from the coronavirus. Everybody's going, obviously, uh, full prep ready and everything. But it's brought up something that I think highlights human reality or the reality of the human psyche, if you like. Now, I'll deal with questions about samurai, about religion, about Japanese folklore, everything to do with basically Japan, samurai and that lot, and uh, which includes Buddhism, uh, Taoism, uh, Confucianism and Shinto. And I have to deal a lot with people who argue to the nth degree about Buddhism is this and karma is this and we accept this and, and you're not being so Buddhist, Anthony, and you're not doing this. And, and lots of different levels of people arguing. Now, what I think is extremely, extremely interesting is that when something like the coronavirus hits, all of that discussion or all of that trust in Eastern religion or Eastern um, spirituality seems to take a back seat doesn't it when everything's happy when everything's fine people are very strong in their buddhist beliefs very strong in their confucian ideals very strong in their taoist philosophy but the moment you think you're gonna die or it's possible that you might die or it's possible you might run out of toilet roll those ideas suddenly leave people's minds don't they so this brings up the question is how close to um fate or faith are you with what you personally believe in? So let me go through them. So um, the title of this video is Coronavirus and Fate, but it could be faith, could be ideas, could be spirituality. Right, for Buddhists out there, you've got good karma, bad karma. Basically, you've got karma action, which creates an action back or a, a response. So if I murder someone, something technically bad will happen to me somewhere along the line within one of my reincarnations until I've learned the lessons presented by the universe whatever that would be and i've gone to samsara which means extinguishing and i'm no longer there i know there are differences in the idea of karma and things like that there are differences but on the whole you do good things you, you accumulate good karma you do bad things you accumulate bad karma you're meant to extinguish everything and then extinguish yourself and poof off you go so for those people who are out there with masks on and nicking toilet roll and doing all that if you get coronavirus, surely it's karmic justice. Surely if you go out there, get it and die, that's the that's what you believe in. That's it. Um, or, so you shouldn't really worry about what you're doing. You can't hide in your house. So you don't need to hide in your house and say, I won't get it if I hide in my house. Technically, it will find you because that's your karma. That's the karma you have to play out. You have to be ill for a few weeks or you have to die from the disease because your karma says so. For those people who have talked about Buddhism. For the Taoists out there, you absolutely should not be isolating yourself. Well, I'll get to that in a minute. You should or shouldn't. Uh, this is just uh, information I'm giving you. So for Taoist people out there, um, you live in the centre. You you approach every situation with uh, Wu Wei, without action, which means not, not doing anything. It means you just go about your daily life. And if the coronavirus hits you, you deal with it the best you can. The universe is giving it to you for a reason. If you die, it's because you have to go back to the great Tao. You have to go back to the great way, uh, the source of all things, which is called the great ultimate. If you don't die, you get ill, then you have gone through that process and you are where the universe has put you and you're exactly there. If you chase around and run away from it, you might not get it for the first week. You might not get it there. You might even miss out this time on getting the virus, but you'll get something else instead later on because it's the part you have to go through at life. So the Buddhists, it's your karma. The Taoists, it's the Tao that's giving it to you. It's the way and it's your remain in the circle. Remember, you remain in the circle and it is the ultimate Wu Wei. So if you're genuinely a Taoist, you'll be walking down the road. You get coronavirus. Wu Wei. That's I deal with that action at that time. OK, so for the Shinto people, 
just start praying to the gods <laughs> because you'll be like, please don't, you know, blight our crops and don't kill us. That's so all the Shinto sh people should be now at the ancestral shrines saying, please, you know, um, help the clan get through this. Uh, we have 15 of the family have got coronavirus, seven have died. We need the family to get through it. Ancient ancestors see that one of us lives, that's Shinto. But that brings me to the crux point. So basically, if you're a Buddhist, should you go out and mingle with the world and give everyone a disease? Uh, if you're a Taoist, should you go out and mingle with everyone and give disease? If you're Shinto, I'm not quite sure. Should you just get in a temple, burn incense and wait it out? I'm not quite sure what Shinto would say on that. Um, but this is where Confucianism comes in. So this is where you don't just give everyone a disease. Of From those three, you would probably just crack on with your life and have faith and see what goes on. But Confucianism says that you don't go outside of the norms of society and regulations within society. So uh, what this means is that uh, if you personally have faith and say, well, it's just my karma if I get it or it, if I get it, it's the Tao. That's what the heaven has presented to me. I have to use Wu Wei to, to sort of deal with it. You know, um, no directed action. Basically, let me run that. Wu Wei is basically I won't put a mask on. I won't hide behind the door. I won't do this. It's like. You know, you, you actually just approach it. Wu Wei doesn't mean no action. It means no responsive action. So don't be like, I can see that coming in the distance. I'm going to respond somewhere else. It's just you. Boom. It's, it's like playing though. I've never played it, but my friends did. What was it called? The guitar game where you see it come up. Bing. And you press the key and the little light goes up and you see it on the screen. And it's like, and they play all the classic songs. I used to enjoy watching it because I'm a heavy metal fan. But Wu Wei is like that. You just, boom, that's what I've got. Boom that's what next boom deal with it boom deal with it that's Wu Wei but Confucianism says you keep to the regulations so the government have said please don't travel please don't gather in large gatherings please don't this uh, schools will be closing so from a samurai standpoint you would do this you would have dealt with let me go through this in Buddhist terms you would not worry about getting the disease you just get it that's your karma you're either going to get it or you're not going to get it from a Taoist point of view, you would be, I will I will deal with it when it when it comes and whatever happens, I will deal with it. Plus, also, because of Taoism, you've actually done something called stealing from the universe, which means you have positioned yourself in a place where you get the most abundant chi. You get the most abundant yin yang, which means you get the most abundant food. And so you should be in a healthy environment with the wind blowing through the mountains at the back, the water there. You're in a nice place, blah, blah, blah. Shinto people get praying. Honestly, I'm not sure. Actually, Shinto, you'd probably be, I'll keep myself clean. I'll keep my area clean. We won't deal with the dead, which means we'll go nowhere near coronavirus victims. So that's what Shinto would be doing. But Confucianism would be saying, don't, even though you believe in those things, you still go with the, the rest of the people. So if everybody's locking down, so we don't all, remember this curve they're talking about, if you push the um, health system beyond, it will break. So because of that, even though you believe in Taoism, even though you believe in Buddhism, and even though you believe in Shintoism, you don't go against Confucianism, the regulations of society, because you go around giving it to everyone else who doesn't believe, you know what I mean? They don't believe it. So you don't say, walk down the road and go, oh, I don't matter, I, don't, I, I believe in my karma, I've got my fate, I'll just give it to everyone, they can deal with it. No, you stay inside the Confucianist goals, the, sorry, the Confucianist regulations for society. So, I'll get to why I summarise the lowest path in a minute. So basically, I think it's quite interesting, funny is the wrong word, but interesting that for years, you, I go to these lectures, I go to these places, and I go to the everything, and they, oh, Buddhist this, and Shinto that, and this Buddhism is best, Mahayana is best, Hinayana is not so good, this is what Buddha really said, this is what Confucius means, but the moment, the moment, you put the slightest chance of death in there. <laughs> Nobody goes down those roads. I, guys, personally would like to lead my life the same. I hope I'm leading it the same. If I get it, it's karmic response. If I die from it, it's my fate. It's where the Tao wants me to be. If... um. I will keep my building clean. I will keep, you know, myself clean uh, from a Shinto point of view. We have the Kamidana altar up there. And 
and I've been going to, I've just been to London, I've been to Manchester, and I've been to Norfolk, and I've basically done a lot of travelling around in the middle of the coronavirus, uh, because if it happens, it happens, Wu Wei, you know, that's what we're dealing with. However, the government have now said, can we please cut down the, the amount of travel? So I will res respond to that with... Um, Confucianist values, which is I will respect that and I will travel, uh, uh, you know, less and hopefully not put it out as much. And I buy food from the local people. Now, for those people following the samurai, you should not be now panic buying. Those people who are panic buying from the shops are creating a problem. You should have been building this up for years. Let's let's go have a look. So basically what you should be doing uh, is you should have a um, a pantry. And as I do here, this is my pantry. There you go. Sometimes my father gives me a bunch of stuff when he goes down, which I keep and I keep in storage. And what I do there at the end of every year, I take it all out and I go through anything that's going to go out of date and I put it in the kitchen over there. And the kitchen will then, that's the food I need to eat. So as you can see down here, pickled eggs are there, washing powder, uh, spices, herbs. I've got tons of um, porridge and things like that. And obviously stuff to spice that up. I've got potatoes in the garage and eggs, onions, all of that type of thing. The only problem I would have is dog food. I wouldn't have enough dog food to feed my dogs. We'd have to go find some sheep in the hills. So what I'm trying to say to you guys is those people panic buying, you're not leading the way of the samurai. It tells us in Book of Samurai. So in the Book of the Samurai, it says you should have a stock and ready to go. It doesn't mean it needs to be months and years. It just needs to be in the week. So like the six to eight week mark. There's the dog. It needs to be in the six to eight week mark simply because You've got to get through the panic that everybody's doing, the panic buying. And if, if society's gone past the six, eight week mark of emptying the shelves, there's problems. There's there's problems. You, you know, that's why you should just keep a rotation of food in your pantry for six to eight weeks worth. Remembering that a human body can survive for about three weeks without food, but you're rationing yourself down. I've got an air rifle. I can get rabbits. I can get crows. There's a river nearby, et cetera, et cetera. I've got water. I could survive for that couple, maybe two or three months I could survive without any food. Not sure about the dogs. They'd probably get eaten. But um, by me. All right, girls. Lucia, do you want to be eaten? Do you want to be my dinner? That's <laughs> all right, guy. So guy doesn't know on that one, isn't she? I think she actually thinks, I mean, I want to go for a walk. So, um... Right, guys, so why is the samurai the lowest path? Sorry, Gaius, stop, stop. So why is the samurai the lowest path? Okay, the, the samurai is the lowest path because you still use those preparations. You still do everything you can to make sure, <laughs> dog bum, to make sure that you and your family are going to survive through force of arms, through preparation, through doing everything. Actually, the next next step up from samurai is the way of the sage, if you like. And that is those people who trust totally in Taoism, trust totally in karma, who just go around. You would get a begging bowl and go out and just the universe will provide. That's the next step. So samurai here and then the next level is not that, is, is to get rid of all those protocols and rules. So what I've talked to you today is about the way of the samurai, which touches on the way of the sage. But the way of the sage is to get rid of all weapons, to get rid of all preparation and get into the hills, get into the world and walk about. You don't need a house, you don't need fortifications and you just go out into the world and trust the doubt. Right, guys, that's the end of this video. I'm looking forward to your comments. Let me know what you think. Do you just believe? Do you go with it? Do you, can you stick, be honest now, can you stick to your principles and faith even in times of problems like this? And do you still do charity? Are you still helping people even when you don't have enough for yourself? That's true Zen. That's true meditation. Meditation is the wrong word, but you know what I mean? That's true um, Mm, a true mindset. There's, I'm trying to find a, a correct word to get across there. But if you're still helping people when you don't have enough, that is the correct way to be doing things. But 99.99999% of people do the opposite. 
And that's why they are not rewarded by heaven with comfort, with um, their goals succeeding, is because when they go through a period of testing, they fail those tests. The coronavirus, if you believe in all of those things, is a test for every individual. Will you pass it? If you don't believe in any of that and you see that as just historical, then it's a medical disease that everybody's going to get and we're going to lose quite a, you know, a, a decent proportion of the percentage of world population, most likely the old. Then it'll go down in history as one of those periods where the world sort of came together and had to battle with a virus. So don't forget, guys, if you want to follow the way I'm talking and all this type of stuff, then the book you need is How to Be a Modern Samurai, which is on pre-order now, but out very soon. Oh,